25 Maria. Picture this. It's the 1980s, the Cold War is in full swing, and the Soviet Union wants a plane to rival the American Space Shuttle program. Enter the Antonov Design Bureau, a group of brilliant engineers with a knack for building colossal aircraft. They were tasked with creating a plane that could carry the Buran, the Soviet answer to the space shuttle, and they didn't disappoint. They took inspiration from their previous creation, the An-124 Ruslan, and scaled it up to epic proportions. The result was a behemoth of an aircraft powered by six monstrous turbofan engines. Imagine the sound of those engines roaring to life. It first took flight in 1988, and the world watched in awe. It was a clear message to the world. The Soviet Union was a force to be reckoned with in the skies. The An-225 was a product of its time, a symbol of Soviet ambition and engineering might. Now let's talk numbers. The An-225 is not just big, it's ridiculously mind-bogglingly big. With a wingspan wider than a football field and a tail taller than a six-story building, this aircraft is in a league of its own. It's so large that it needs 32 wheels to support its massive weight on the ground. It boasts a maximum takeoff weight of over 640 tons. That's heavier than a fully loaded cruise ship. And it can carry over 250 tons of cargo inside its cavernous hold. Just picture the sheer volume of stuff you could fit in there. But it's not just about size. This plane packs some serious power. Those six Ivchenko Progress D-18T turbofan engines generate an earth-shattering roar, propelling the aircraft to a cruising speed of 800 kilometers per hour. It's a sight to behold this colossal machine soaring through the air. The AN-225 is a testament to the fact that when it comes to engineering, size really does matter. Out to take flight once more. Section five, back to the skies and beyond. In the early 2000s, the world's demand for air cargo was skyrocketing. The AN-225, with its unparalleled cargo capacity, was suddenly back in demand. After undergoing extensive modernization and refurbishment, the Maria took to the skies once more in 2001. And boy, did it make a comeback. It quickly became the go-to aircraft for transporting oversized and super heavy cargo around the globe. From wind turbine blades to entire trains, the AN-225 has hauled it all. It's become a symbol of hope, delivering aid to disaster-stricken regions across the globe. The AN-225 has even been used to transport vital medical supplies during the COVID-19 pandemic, becoming a symbol of global cooperation in times of crisis. It's flown countless missions, setting records and capturing the imaginations of people worldwide. The Maria has proven that it's not just a relic of the past, it's a vital part of the present and the future of aviation. Section 6, Maria, a legacy of innovation, the Antonov and 225 Maria stands as a testament to the boundless possibilities of engineering and human ingenuity. It has redefined what's possible in the realm of aviation, demonstrating that size and power can be harnessed for good. Its legacy extends far beyond its cargo hauling capabilities. It has inspired a new generation of engineers and aviators, pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible in the sky. The Maria represents the spirit of dreaming big, of tackling seemingly insurmountable challenges with boldness and innovation. Its story is a reminder that even in the face of adversity, human ingenuity can soar to new heights. The AN-225 Maria is more than just a plane. It's a symbol of hope, innovation, and the enduring power of human ambition. Section seven, fun facts about the Maria. Right, you lot, time for some trivia. Here are some fun facts about the AN-225 that'll make your jaw drop. It has a whopping 32 landing gear wheels. That's more wheels than some trucks have. The Maria has six crew members, two pilots, two flight engineers, a navigator, and a radio operator. Talk about a tight squeeze. It can hold up to 84 cars in its cargo hold. Imagine the parking nightmare. The AN-225's tail fin is actually designed to help with takeoff by generating lift, not just for stability. Who knew tails could be so useful? It's so loud that it needs special permission to land at most airports. Earmuffs, anyone? So there you have it. The Antonov on 225 Maria, a plane that's larger than life itself. It's a testament to human ingenuity and a symbol of hope for the future of aviation.